everyone, it's Stephanie from Principal Principles, and I am excited to share with you something that I'm going to do for back to school called Data Carousels. And uh, I'm going to show it to you right here. It's a chart board. I'm going to try to get it in the, in the photo, but it's, uh, you put up a chart and it says Data Carousels, and um, I'm actually going to have about six different stations around the room that uh, deal with data and the teachers rotate around the room and answer the questions or they analyze the data in their little small groups. And so I'm having about six. You can have as many data carousels going at one time, but I wanted to explain it to you. So right here is where I'm going to print the uh, reports that each group is going to read. So I'm actually going to pull off um, six different sheets of this and I'm going to have a data source on every sheet that's going around the room so um, and we'll rotate around the room they have about 10-15 minutes for every wall that they'll uh, encounter so think about your campus for a, for a minute and decide what data you want them to see what data you want them to analyze and then post those around the room and then they will have an opportunity with their group to discuss the data. You're not trying to have them determine root causes, why the data may be the way it is. What you're trying to do is just analyze it. And they're going to take a marker with them, so every group has a different marker. So since I have six groups, I have six colored markers and they're all a different color. So one group will have like a red marker, a blue marker, a green marker, just like that. So, so if I was a group and I'm in the red group and we have one red marker, well that red marker goes with us to every station. And so on this chart paper, I will see the red group has answered these or analyzed it. The blue group has come and analyzed it because they're going to write something on here. They're gonna write on this chart paper their thoughts, what they have seen, a factual statement about the data, and then we'll constantly uh, go around the room when everybody has finished, and then we're going to discuss the data. So we're going to uh, all come up with some kind of common, uh, common narratives that are written on here. What are we all seeing? You know, what are what are uh, some things that we can do differently this next year? And also, the biggest thing is you need to celebrate. You need to celebrate even the smallest things because you don't want to start this off at the back to school and you are focusing only on the negatives of, of the data that happened last school year. So focus on something that they've done well and celebrate that for a few minutes and discuss about it So because you want that behavior to continue. Whatever they did well, you want it to continue to even get better. So think about that. The next thing you want to do is set the stage for this. You don't want anybody pointing fingers. You don't want anybody, uh, you know, blaming somebody else for the data for what it is. So it is just a good conversation. We're just talking about the data. Nobody is any kind of trouble with it or anything like that. It is used for good information on how we can improve our schools. So make sure you set the stage prior to starting this. Discuss that nobody's in kind, you know, we're not going to have any kind of troubles. No, no consequences are going to come from this. Because if you um, go into it with a everybody pointing fingers, a blame game, and somebody's in trouble for this, they're not going to, you're not going to get the results that you need from it. So, so therefore, this is data carousels, and I hope you think, uh, uh, you know, kind of how you could use this on your campus. I'm going to do about six groups because I'm looking at core subjects or I'm looking at state standards and things like that. So um, think about your campus. You can do as many as you want to. You can fill a whole classroom full of them, and also that's another thing. If you don't have a, a training room big enough for this, Line your hallways. If you're doing it during staff development, you can use your hallways because there's you don't have to worry about anybody in the hall, like uh, pu the public coming through the school or uh, students in the hall and looking at it. Line the office with it or wherever you may have um, 
that you can use just a long hallway and just uh, divide the hallways with your data carousels and uh, set the stage you know and then you're going to have great conversations come from that so i hope you've enjoyed this idea and uh, it works well for you thank you